Hey, welcome back. So, um, I think Dalton in a comment asked a good question once. He was like, on the drinking vlog, he was like, do you think it would help, the, like drinking would help you or whatever with this, um, if you had to do something stressful or anxiety or whatever. And, uh, so I was like, I'm gonna order a pizza and drink some wine. It didn't go exactly as planned because I can't drink the wine. I can't do it. <laughs> I drank like I had a I had another red wine and I drank like 200 milliliters. I, I just wasn't. I can't do it. Like I mean, I I don't even know how I did it the first time. It tastes awful. I don't get it. I still kind of taste it, and it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> I guess you're not drinking it for the taste, but like, I didn't expect it to be that horrible. I guess I have to ask Laura what I'm doing wrong. I mean, maybe I'm drinking like expert level wine, and I should be drinking beginner stuff or something. I don't know. So yeah, I, I mean, the plan was to drink like maybe 500 milliliters, and then see how it feels when the delivery person comes because that is something that I do get stressed about still it's like I mean not stressed but just I feel like a little bit like oh I gotta get the door and I'm like looking out the window I'm checking my phone I'm like oh is he here so I if I didn't do that but I don't know I'm just feeling yeah I mean I'm not depressed and I'm not like Everything's fine. I'm just, I've just been feeling down and I wanted to talk about that, I guess. That was what I was going to talk about today. Yeah, because over the past week, I didn't do anything again. So it's been like almost a month and I haven't really left my house. I, I leave my house for, ch for church for like an hour on Sunday. But when I go to church, I don't really talk to anybody. And I do my therapy but I didn't do therapy this week, and that's another thing. Um, and then I kind of do like that Facebook group stuff, and that's it. That's all I've done, and it, it doesn't feel good. The way I'm feeling now, it's kind of like a weird, it's connected. I always think about that um, quarter life crisis video I did where I was just talking about meaning, and for those couple of months I just kept talking about meaning or not meaning purpose whatever just like why am I doing this what's the point it's very cliche but it's true and it's not something that I hadn't really ever grappled with until that point and so if you look at that video and you look at this one and you're like okay like what's your meaning like you're you're still here, you moved, you got a new job, like, you seemed happier, so like, okay, like you found your meaning, right? What was it? The, I, I never consciously answered the question, but the answer is obviously, and I know that this is the answer because I've been feeling bad these past couple weeks, the answer is pursuing social progress like in my own social life when i go to a wedding and i and i do a good job or whatever i mean the fact that i just went was good i feel purpose like oh i did my thing that i'm supposed to do and that makes me feel good when i go to therapy every week sometimes some weeks it's not good it was like i feel bad some whatever but I didn't do it this week and like I felt bad because I'm like, oh, I'm not progressing socially. Like I, that's where I go for like advice to talk to a professional person. And I didn't do that. I didn't do anything the past three weeks. Since the wedding, I haven't done anything. Barely left the house. And objectively, it's like, it's like fine, who cares? I mean, you're not hurting anybody, right? But subconsciously, I had, I mean, that was my purpose. That was what was driving me. That's what was like kind of making me happy like these past two years since that video. 
has been not happy, but just kind of content with like, okay, you're doing it. Like you're doing okay. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Um, you're trying, right? Trying what? Trying. I just say like life, like, oh, you're trying life. But I, I mean, I'm pretty, it's kind of specific in my subconscious. It's doing social things. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of like a weird part two to that, um, quarter life crisis video because I'm still not much has changed. <laughs> I remember talking in that video, like I look past my, like back my, through my whole life and I, and I don't see anything. There's just nothing there. And I look past these two years and I see, okay, you got the new job and that was good. But what does it mean? Like if you didn't make any social connections or you didn't make any social progress in those past few years, like you got a new job, that was good. I, I can hear you and like my therapist in my head saying like, whoa, what about the wedding? And like that person that invited you, we're not friends. <laughs> he doesn't view me as a friend, which is fine. Like he doesn't have to, but it's interesting. It's like a complicated thing because when I went to the wedding and I came home, I didn't feel good. Even though I did do the social thing, I felt like kind of lonely. And I only ever feel lonely when I do a social thing. It's kind of interesting. I don't feel lonely right now. I just feel kind of, I don't want to say depressed, but just kind of like sad, just frustrated with my self, I guess. Um, but I don't feel lonely. I never feel lonely when I spend a long time by myself, like, because this is my natural state. It doesn't feel wrong. It doesn't feel lonely. I only feel lonely when I go, like when I did the improv thing and then I came home and I'm like, oh, I'm just by myself again? Like, what was the point of that? I, I don't get it. I went to the wedding and I came home and I was like, oh, I'm just by myself. Like it was good. There's just a thing that I'm missing. That's like a connection, like connecting with people. And it, it that's what I'm feeling depressed now is like all the work you did the past two years since that quarter life crisis video, you still haven't made a connection with anybody. Literally nobody. I don't know, just kind of riffing today. I didn't have any notes. I just wanted to talk about, try to, talk about how I'm feeling. The next social thing I'm doing is next week I'm going to see my cousin and my family f for my cousin. He graduated um, this college internship thing. I don't know how that's gonna go. Oh, next Friday I'm, I'm leading another Zoom at the besties group. That usually goes fine. I did, they went fine with the last one. I don't have no idea what we're going to talk about, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I signed up for Tinder again, and it, it, I don't like it. I, I never... Tinder's bad. It's a bad place for bad people. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how you're supposed to meet anybody on Tinder, because I'm like, oh, these people, I don't, I don't know. What do you want from me? It just doesn't seem like they're my people. Like, then I, I don't see a connection with anybody, I don't know, on there happening. I like some people and uh, whatever. I talked to that one girl and she didn't talk back or because I made a stupid joke and she's like, stop trying to be funny. I feel like this is probably the, the worst I felt since I moved. I haven't fallen to, fallen into like a deeper despair. And I think the job, like the stability of the apartment is nice and my job is good. That helps a lot. I guess that quarter life crisis was kind of my rock bottom, which is kind of nice because it wasn't a very far rock bottom. And so like, oh, you're climbing out of it. Um, I mean, that, I guess that's a good analogy. Like you start at rock bottom, right? And you're like, oh, this is the worst place ever. Then like you go to therapy and um, you get a new job. And so you're like climbing up out of the bottom and climbing up feels good because you're like, oh, I'm not at the bottom anymore. But then 
the point I'm at right now, I'm like, oh my god, there's still so far to go, and I don't know, why, why don't I look at that as like a positive, because it's the awareness of that, though, that freaks me out, because it's like, your purpose is just like social progress, that's like stupid, why, why would that be your purpose? Like, okay, you get to the top of whatever cliff you're climbing out of, you're married, you have kids, you have a job, you have a billion dollars, whatever. And not the money thing, I don't care about the money. You have a million friends, or whatever. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, like, am I gonna feel happy at that point? Uh, and part of it is, like, in the besties group, I look at the people, and they, yeah, I mean, they seem happy, but they also still have enough social anxiety where they want to join a group and like they're all married and they all have kids and they all have friends <laughs> and i'm like what i mean i know everybody's at different points so i guess there's two parts of it the first part is um not making any progress the past three weeks with social stuff and the second part is like feeling kind of dumb like that's your purpose that's what you're doing that shouldn't even be your purpose. It's stupid. It's a stupid purpose. No, we all have to have a reason to get up the next day, and, and that's my reason, and I don't know. Can't think of a better one. What else am I going to do? Am I going to cure cancer? I don't really want to. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. I'm lazy. I tried to... Another thing that made me depressed. <laughs> I tried to write that Sherlock Holmes story, and it was just hot garbage and I felt so bad about myself like you thought you could write a story are you stupid like you're not a writer <laughs> you can't do this I um I signed up for this like silent writing thing which is funny I mean there was this uh I got this email from Instagram someone I follow on Instagram and like it was like oh there's a silent writing retreat like every Thursday in September from 8.30 to 9.30, join a Zoom with like 30 other people and just write for an hour and everybody's quiet. I'm like, okay, that'd be good, like good exposure for me. Like I'll write in front of a camera and like, oh, and then I'll, that'll give me time to actually write the story that I want to write. So I signed up for it and it was $50, which I'm like, it's kind of a racket, right? Nice work if you can get it. <laughs> $50 to make other people pay you for them to be quiet? <laughs> How does that work? Um, but I don't know. It's only $50. And the story was crap, so that's why I felt bad. I felt bad yesterday about that. I wrote it for an hour, and I, and I was just reading back what I wrote for like the past hour, and I was like, this is like so bad. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> I can't believe... I just can't believe it, how bad that wine tastes. I can't believe it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mentioned when I did the drinking video, like those scenes in TV when the kid drinks the wine. I guess I was thinking specifically about, there's an episode in the first season of The Walking Dead where Carl drinks wine and he's like 10 years old or something. And the mom's like, go ahead, drink it. And then he drinks it and he's like, <laughs> and then the mom's like, that's my boy. And I was like, I, I, well, I don't know. I mean, when you see people drink wine, like, how, they're not making faces. I, I guess I'm not really around people who drink wine that much. But on TV, yeah, when they drink wine, it's like, they're like drinking it like it's water. And I'm like, how, do you, how are you doing that? I even tried to put seltzer water in the wine. And then I was just like, oh no, that's just making you have to drink more wine. It doesn't really help with the taste. <laughs> You'd have to put so much seltzer water in here. I bought THC gummies. <laughs> so I'm going to try them next week. It's interesting, you could just buy this stuff online now. Or like 10 years ago, you would go to jail for life if you bought it. <laughs> which is ridiculous. Your driver, Joshua, is on the way. I don't know, this is a stupid experiment anyway. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have that much wine to affect me, so I'm still feeling like how I would always feel when the delivery driver would come. It's just like, oh, I'm looking at my thing and being like, oh, is he here yet? And like, I check my hair 
yeah, I always check my hair because I'm like, oh, I don't know, it's stupid. I want I want to look good for Joshua. <laughs> that's stupid. Yeah, I mean, therapy didn't really help me much last week, but I have to do it every week. I notice a difference when I don't do it because it's like the only person I talk to the whole week. It's so bad. How are you doing? I should say something nice. I don't know. Nice. Thanks for your comments. Dalton and Laura commented this week. Thanks if you're watching. It was a nice thing. I mean, it's always kind of a nice thing when people are like, hey, let's talk about something you're interested in, which is like a video that I made. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's nice. It makes me feel good. Yeah, it was kind of a garbagey week. And I have Monday off for Labor Day. I was like, I'm not doing anything on Labor Day. So waste another, what's another day to waste? Remember, so I there was a Final Fantasy 12 video that I did when I first mentioned, I remember my therapist said something like, oh, you'll have a girlfriend by all, in six months. And that was seven months ago. Um, like we're working and like, you're gonna get one and you won't even notice, like it'll just happen so quick. And I'm like, no, you don't know me. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. And I was totally right. I'm, I'm trying everything she says. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I went on that hike. Going on a hike is a big thing for someone like me. Um, with strangers. I did improv. I did a lot of improv. <laughs> I didn't meet anybody at the improv. Like, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I talked about that last week. It's so stupid. Like, go bowling. Ooh. That's why I knew it wouldn't work. Cause I'm, she, the, the advice is like, go on a hike. I'm like, I'm not gonna meet anybody on this hike. We're taking like such end arounds to this goal. I'm like, I just, just I just want a girlfriend. That's the whole thing. <laughs> and like, why is it so hard to just have meet somebody who's like a partner and like, hey, we can share stuff. I don't, I, just, I, I don't know. Pizza's coming. I guess I feel, I don't know. I feel kind of the same. You guys like Domino's? I like Domino's. I like their pan pizza. It's good. It's freaking good. Um, I, I bought pan pizza and cheesy bread, which is like a lot of food, but whatever. I'm sad. Fill me with cheese and make me happier. Cheese will make me happy. The the wine does not make me happy. It tastes so good. All oh, the cheese tastes so good. Why can't wine taste like cheese? You're supposed to have wine with cheese. But I dumped all the alcohol anyway. <laughs> I couldn't drink it. I dumped the rest of it. Because it tasted putrid. That's a good word for it. I couldn't get it down. Ugh. Take a little sip and... Ugh, that like feeling in your face where it's like... Ugh, your body doesn't want this. It doesn't want this. Don't put this in me. Your stomach's like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Stop it. It's awful. Anyway, I gotta get the pizza. Thanks if anybody's watching. This is a bad week, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing anymore here. Um, just airing my feelings. I didn't have any notes, just blah, blah, blah. So, we'll see you tomorrow. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Bye.